Erev Tov, Chavri, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And uh, guys, uh, we've noticed there's a little problem right now with YouTube on the live stream platform. Uh, and every video we've ever done that is live stream is actually down. Uh, things that we have loaded up, they're working okay. Uh, we may go to only breaking news as being live and change, go back to our original format where we can do high def, load up very nice quality videos for you guys. Uh, but this is a very serious issue that's breaking uh, that actually came out yesterday. The Times of Israel is reporting that Israel said to fear U.S. peace plan includes Jerusalem as a Palestinian capital. Now, I find that rather uh, interesting, uh, especially in light of the fact of uh, we, we spoke about this many, many times. Uh, our good friend Saman Tov, who's been on here on Israeli News Live before, Barry Chamish, the late Barry Chamish. Also, we've talked about that with him. And, of course, uh, Saman Tov saying that, you know, his friend that he had that uh, was uh, worked for Ariel Sharon uh, had already signed a two-state peace deal. And uh, East Jerusalem, according to Joel Bainerman, would become the capital, a Palestinian capital. And, uh, but, you know, we get... We get slammed by those uh, little neocons that are sent out there to try to thwart what we're doing to tell you the truth. And they come back and tell you this is all uh, ridiculous. There's no such thing. Uh, you know, and yet people trust. You trust. The, the, you know, what really gets me is how people are so trusting of these so-called Israeli intelligent operatives that are independent media because they claim to believe that Yeshua is the Messiah. And I even question that at times. Uh, but at any rate, though, we're being vindicated once again uh, that we are correct on this. Uh, you know, this is, there is a fear, and it says on here in the article, Israel is reportedly concerned that the Trump administration is considering recognizing Jerusalem as the Palestinian as well as the Israeli capital in a bid to bring Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas back to the negotiating table. All right, well... Oh, well, you know, I just realized this. You guys probably do not see that on your screen there. I will put the link of the article there for you in uh, the description below because I can tell that it's the quality using our phone right now is not the best quality for this. Uh, but that's what it's saying in the article dated October 21st, 2018, 2.53 p.m. The Times of Israel reporting that. Um, let me see if I can blow the print up. It might help a little bit if I can really blow this up. And you know what? I know what I probably could do. Let me back up for a second. I'm going to highlight the uh, print. Sometimes that allows that camera to better show that for you there. Now you can see that a little bit better. So it says, the fear is born of an Israeli assessment that the administration sees Getting a deal is a fairly simple task once both sides are at the negotiating table. The Yeroth Aronoth Daily reported Sunday, Trump wants a deal. He's very serious, a senior Israeli official told the paper. Uh, to the American, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is relatively easily, easily, easy to solve. Sources told the newspaper that U.S. talks between the two sides will work on a strategy uh, of give and take. Anyone who comes to the table and has to ante up uh, a concession one of the other side agrees to. Anyone who doesn't come to the table and has to pay a penalty. And anyone who rejects the draft deal risk being put in a weaker position for the next round. Now, that's what's being stated in the article. And, um, uh, you know, the whole point is, it's not like we have said anything like we know something ourselves, we're just sharing the reporting that we have been able to uncover. Um, we know that Joel Bainerman had said that uh, that the uh, while the Oslo Accord was going on, Shimon Perez was working out a deal with Pope uh, John Paul II, and in that deal, the old city of Jerusalem would be under United Nations control. The Vatican would get hegemony over the old city. Uh, the Palestinians would get East Jerusalem and the Israelis would get West Jerusalem as their capitals. That's the way it would actually go down. Uh, that was confirmed also uh, by uh, Zaman Tov, who lives in Israel. Uh, he's a native-born Israeli. He shared this with us as well uh, from the aide that worked with Ariel Sharon and how that when uh, this, don't know the year of this, but around, I would guess, back during the time of Ariel Sharon's uh, administration, 
that top delegates from around the world had came to a secret meeting that the press had not been invited to, and they actually signed into to a law, a two-state solution. It was already done. And we even know that Joel Bannerman spoke about how the Yasser Arafat had to start those riots uh, or the Intifada in order to help redraw those boundaries by causing the unrest to get the Israelis to accept what's going on. Uh, so I would think the same thing is happening even now. Nothing is new under the sun, so to speak. And uh, so that's, that's the reason we're seeing the things that we're seeing. And, uh, but at any rate there, uh, we just wanted to share that little bit of news with you tonight. I'll be back in the saddle tomorrow. Um, uh, just keep us in your prayers. Everybody here is kind of sick right now. So, uh, but we'll get things going back again tomorrow and get, get a little bit better on course here. So again, very, very troubling news. It is. I'm Steve Benu with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.